In Spartanburg, a teenage girl is persevering through a battle with bone cancer. She's been fighting it for a year and a half and now has the attention of her community. 7 News' Melanie Palmer has the story. Getting closer to being done with surgeries and hospital beds. That's the case for an upstate 15 year old who has been through a lot over the last year and a half. Emma June tells us other than the community, her family, nurses and doctors, there's one motto that has helped get her through it all. It's easier to be happy than it is to be sad. Emma June says she has seen a lot of joy and love over the last 18 months. So nice and so kind. Ringing that bell was a celebration of the end of chemotherapy. Emma June was diagnosed with osteosarcoma in early 2020. It started with what was believed to be a sports related injury. Osteosarcoma is one of the most common malignant bone tumors in children. Shortly after the cries of happiness over ending chemo, I knew if there was a reoccurrence in the leg that I would have to have an amputation. An x ray showed another tumor. There you go, there you go. Now it's clicking. I had to have my leg amputated in February. She tells us recovery hasn't always been easy. And she can't get a prosthetic until things heal more. But despite the pain and hardships this young girl has faced. She's really been amazing and keeping a really positive attitude even when it life's thrown her some curveballs. Continues to really be helpful to other kids that are on the oncology floor. You'll rarely see her without a smile. And now her dog Dilly, who is being trained to be her service animal. As for what's next, Emma June says she's eager to get back to school and all the activities she loves. I decided that I will not be going to school until I am able to walk on my own with my prosthetic. And is optimistic about what her future holds. Emma June just finished another round of chemotherapy. Next is immunotherapy, which is scheduled to last for many weeks to come. After that, though, Emma tells us she'll be done with treatment and just need to go back for those follow up scans. As you can imagine, she's very excited for that. In Spartanburg, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. We're all on team Emma June now to help her be more active. She's asked to be part of a foundation that will donate athletic prosthetics to her. There's also a fundraiser being held at the end of August to support that cause. The details if you can pitch in at WSPA.com.